Hey, what's going on? It's John Quattro here, and in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to set up and live stream on YouTube. Let's go. If you've been following the channel at all, uh, you may have seen the update uh, that we are streaming on YouTube. Uh, we've streamed on Twitch, we've streamed on YouTube, uh, even Facebook. Uh, this isn't a video about where you should stream. I've decided I'm going to stream exclusively to YouTube. Also, I have a bigger audience here on YouTube than I do on Twitch, and uh, I'd rather just kind of keep everything under one roof. Yeah, this is where we're going to be streaming going forward. Okay, so some software and things that you're going to need to get started. One, you're going to need to get yourself some sort of streaming software, either Streamlabs OBS or regular OBS. I use regular OBS. I just prefer it. Uh, it's a little more bare bones than Streamlabs is, but Streamlabs wants you to pay monthly stuff like 20 bucks a month for a lot of their features, which you know you can if you want to, or you can just learn how to do it. That's like what I have this channel for is teach you how to do this stuff. So I'd recommend you download OBS Studio. It's free. Uh, links for both will be in the description. Whichever way you want to go is fine. Also, uh, it, it really doesn't matter as far as these instructions go on how to get everything started. Uh, you're going to be able to follow the instructions the same because their settings are practically the same. Second thing that you're going to need is a YouTube account. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to set that up. All you have to do is go to youtube.com and, uh, you know, sign in or create an account with your Gmail address. Um, and that's it. Like if you have left a comment on a YouTube video before, you already have a YouTube account. Third thing that you're going to need, obviously, you know, I hope you already have it. Like cameras, uh, a microphone, a, a way to, a way to stream your software. Obviously, uh, that seems like a no brainer, but like, you know, you need to have that stuff. So now we're going to get everything set up. The first thing that we're going to start with is your YouTube channel. Let's go. All right here, I'm down here in the corner. All right. So if you take a look at your YouTube channel here, uh, you'll notice a few things. So up here in the corner, you'll see, okay, like, Hey, this is your, uh, your channel. You can go to your channel. Right, see all your stuff right here, blah, blah, blah. You wanna go to uh, right here, create. You have upload video and you have go live. We're gonna go live. If you were wanting to upload a video, guess which button you'd click? Yes. <laughs> all right, so you hit the go live settings. Now I have one coming up, so let's click on it and, and kind of see what, what this is looking like. Right here, the way YouTube works is unlike Twitch, you actually start the streaming process on whatever software you're using, like OBS uh, or Streamlabs. Then that signal comes to YouTube and you say, yes, go live. So there's an extra step that can lead to you not streaming, thinking you're streaming, but I actually kind of like it because it can also, uh, it gets rid of that. I accidentally started the stream when I didn't mean to, you know what I mean? So. Anywho, if you're following along right here, um, you can go here to the edit button. This is what you're gonna start with your stream. Here, let me zoom in for you. All right, so my title for my first stream will be Welcome Home, because we're gonna be streaming here. In description, uh, I, I have, I use a service called TubeBuddy. Uh, I actually have a link in the description for that. I do wanna let you know if you click that link, it is an affiliate link, so I get a kickback if you like decide to pay for it. Full disclosure, I've been paying for it for years though. So, so anyways, uh, my descriptions are the same for all my videos. I at least have like a, a you know, I don't know what you'd call it, um, like a default setting. Uh, and then I go in and change some things. So everything right here, um, the, thanks for checking out the stream, blah, blah, blah. Here's all my gear, uh, you know, links and stuff. I put uh, hashtags in. So like hashtag gaming, hashtag tech, hashtag live. The reason I chose those, and this is a big thing for YouTube, is YouTube doesn't have like the browsing live streams. Like they don't have like a big section of live streams that you can just browse endlessly like Twitch does. Uh, that's a good thing in my opinion. Real quick, we're gonna talk about how YouTube streams work uh, compared to say Twitch. So on Twitch, you go to Twitch, the whole website is set up as a broadcast live website. So, you know, you can go and you can just browse and browse and browse. Um, that's the reason that you're not growing on Twitch, by the way, is because there is no like discoverability. You just click and browse. And if you're just chatting or you're playing Among Us or you're doing Warzone or, or any of these like big popular games, you know no one's scrolling down to the bottom to find you. Uh, and if they are, they're probably gonna hop into your chat and plug their stream because you know, that's what people do, unfortunately. So anyways, YouTube. 
um, the way that YouTube streams work, you can still find your stream, uh, but you want your stream to be in search results. So YouTube has 2 billion people a day using it. Um, and if you're doing a game or you're doing a stream on, you know, like something like a cooking stream or an educational stream, that will show up in the search results. If you're playing Among Us or War Warzone or any of those things, uh, put it in your in your title, put it in your description, put like a little hashtag in there. I don't know if that works, but I see other people do it. You wanna show up and search. People will find you because they're searching for videos on something and you happen to be live doing it. Let's go over here. Uh, so here's my description, blah, blah, blah. You know, welcome to the new home of live streams. Uh, you said, I scheduled this. So I've scheduled this ahead of time. Uh, Sunday, April 18th at 7.30 is when this stream is. Uh, that's kind of cool to me. Um, you can do it live or you can schedule it. It works exactly the same. Uh, category, you can pick whatever category you want. I put it in science and technology. We're actually gonna change that uh, probably to people and blogs. Well, you know what? We'll go to gaming because that's what we're doing is gaming. So gaming and then you can put your game title in, say Apex Legends, you know, Call of Duty Warzone, whatever you play. Um, that's where you'd put your title. Thumbnails. So this is a little different than Twitch, and this is because you show up in search. Um, I'd recommend any software. GIMP is a free software. There are other websites and stuff that you can use to create thumbnails on the cheap uh, or free, but get yourself a thumbnail. This thumbnail that I have right here is probably the thumbnail that I'm going to use for all of my streams. I might change some things uh, every once in a while. So like say that um, I'm going to be playing Among Us with friends. Uh, maybe I would take out this YouTube logo right here and replace it with like the Among Us logo or something like it's it's super easy to do It took me 15 minutes to make a thumbnail um, Make sure you, you don't have to have a thumbnail, but like this is YouTube So titles thumbnails those things help you stand out and that's the reason just like really to stream on YouTube uh, Is to stand out. Okay playlist. You can put it on a playlist if you want. These are all things later Okay, the audience, this part is very important. The video is not made for kids or isn't made for kids, okay? Listen, we're going full screen for this one because it's very important. If you make content that is aimed at children, uh, think of like those you know, YouTube videos of like uh, reviewing toys, like toddlers toys, kids toys, things like that. Uh, you need to check yes on this box. Um, you don't wanna check no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't really like affect you uh, in any sort of way. You just have to uh, be clear about it because YouTube runs ads and YouTube has to abide by the law of not running advertisements on things that are made for little tiny kids. Make sure that you're honest with this. Um, if you're live streaming, more than likely you're not making content geared towards children. Be truthful on that, seriously. All right, uh, age restriction, advanced. Do you want to restrict your view, your video to viewers over 18? Um, you can, you don't have to. Um, if you do, it could limit your monetization in your ads, but like, here's the thing. To even get monetization on YouTube, you have to have a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time. Uh, and that's just to be able to start making money uh, from YouTube. You can do Patreon and other stuff if you want. Um, paid promotion. This is also pretty easy and pretty cool to, to keep yourself out of like advertising trouble. Um, on Twitch, they do the same thing. There are people on Twitch, you know, you watch your favorite streamer and they are playing a game, right? Um, you know, maybe they're playing like Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends. Sponsor for everybody. Uh, but the, if, it, if they're being paid, they'll have hashtag ad. Uh, this is the equivalent of hashtag ad. You just press this button right here. Uh, you know, this might not apply to you. It might apply to you. You know, if you start to get deals with somebody uh, or, you know, like you're doing a sponsored segment or um, say that you're like reviewing something live, say someone sends you a microphone or like a camera lens or a light and you want to review it live and they paid you money to review it, click the box. Last thing you can do is put tags in. Uh, I don't have any tags yet on this. I'd recommend just a couple, you know, whatever game you're playing, whatever you're doing, put a couple tags in that just helps with search. The rest of the stuff, video language, recording date, you can, you know, look at that if you want to, but it's not like super important. Um, all right, so you hit save on there. Next things are gonna be like your stream key. Uh, don't show this to anybody, but keep this in mind. This is what you need to be able to stream as your stream key. Just hit the copy button and it will copy, okay? All right, so I know this looks a little strange, but just follow the mouse right down here. In this bottom right corner here, 
go to settings. All right, so you click your settings. Um, you can go to stream, select YouTube right here. And uh, I leave this, I don't change this right here, the server, you can check your if you want, but you know, I just leave it on the primary YouTube server. And then the stream key, just paste. Paste your stream key in right there. Um, if you hit get stream key, it'll take you back to that screen that we were just at. Um, and that's it. That's like, that's how you stream. The rest of what you're looking at is just your typical OBS settings. What I will tell you though, is to take a peek at this one, go to your output, um, depending on your internet speeds, how high they are, if they can support this, YouTube, you can go up to like 50,000 kilobits per second for, that's like 50 megabits for your upload. Um, I set mine at 12,000, 10,000 is probably a good thing. Uh, that'll be 10 megabits. So make sure your internet speed is at least 20 megabits if you're trying to stream at 10. Good rule of thumb, don't use more than half your upload speed as your bitrate. So I'm doing 12,000, that allows basically twice as much information to come from my computer to uh, YouTube every second than when I was streaming on Twitch. That's why the streams that you can look a lot better. You can look crisper, things are, are quicker. It's, trust me, I love it. It's the main reason. Uh, the rest of the stuff just depends on your, uh, on your setup, like what your computer is. Um, I got like a B plus uh, CPU. It's a Ryzen 3800X and uh, an S plus. I got a, a RTX 3080. Don't hate me. <laughs> if you want to look at it, there it is. Can't see it. It's all blurry right there. I don't know how I got that. It's pretty crazy. Audio. Mine will look different than yours because I use a Go XLR. Um, and I also use NVIDIA broadcast to get rid of my box fan. That's super loud, but it gets really hot in here. It's pretty easy. I mean, just wherever your audio is coming from, your microphone, um, just set that up in here. You don't really need to change anything. Video, um, okay, so I stream at 1080p, 60 frames per second. I do that because my computer can handle it. Um, if yours can't, no problem, doesn't matter. Um, you can change your output. So I, my monitor is a 1440p monitor. Uh, technically, you can use 1440p. You can stream at 1440p to YouTube. Um, I'm not trying to do that right now. 1080p, just fine. So my base canvas, I set to 1920 by 1080, and my output is 1920 by 1080. Um, I do that so nothing gets scaled weird for you guys coming from 1440p to 1080 like I do. Um, but the output is important, so I'm, I'm outputting at 1080p. Um, if you're having trouble, if your stream gets a little choppy, uh, looks a little weird, bump that down to 720. Here's the truth. Most people are using their phones to watch some sort of stream and they're not going to be able to tell the difference between 720 and 1080 on their phone. I just do 1080 because I can. I do 60 frames per second because I can and because my camera is in 60 frames per second for my webcam. But I mean, that's it. That's literally, now you know how to stream on YouTube. <laughs> okay. Um, so that's really, that. that's the, that's the video. Um, Set your OBS, you hit the start streaming button, and then we go back to YouTube and it'll say, hey, we're getting a signal. Do you want to start? And you hit yes. That's it. Uh, it's that easy. Streaming on YouTube, not hard. There's a few extra steps to start compared to Twitch, but let's be real. You spend all that time on Twitch creating your panels that nobody is looking at. So take an extra five minutes to give yourself a good title, a good description, uh, a thumbnail. You know, you can use websites like Kavana, you can use GIMP, you can use Photoshop, Affinity Designer, Affinity Photo, any of these things uh, you can use to make a thumbnail. Heck, you can use Microsoft Paint. It doesn't matter. Just make yourself some sort of thumbnail and a title that'll make you more clickable when people search because that's how you're gonna find an audience here that easy if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment uh, I usually respond to all of them because you know I don't I, I got time um, also like I said before you can find me here on Sundays Tuesdays and Thursdays at 8 30 p.m. I'll stream for a couple hours uh, sometimes it's just doing some tech talk stuff sometimes I'm playing games uh, games I play are mostly like retro games Zelda games dumb games shooty games I play all sorts of games Mediocre. <laughs> okay, no, but for real, uh, feel free to stop in on the stream and just talk to me. Uh, I'll answer most of your questions uh, if you have trouble with you know this or Twitch. Doesn't matter. I've kind of done it all by now. Um, but other than that, you know, 
Enjoy making your content. That's what's important. Peace. <laughs>